Hello, everybody. Grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here we got um, Mr. Evolution's next video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brett Keen. And this video is dedicated to a Christian by the name of James. You know, it's funny that me talking between a Muslim on here on your page gets dedication for a video yet all of my response videos that i've made to you not one you have soundly refuted yet oh that's kind of funny james does a lot of videos about myself and a lot of the material that i talk about and he also disses on muslims and people of other religions even though he himself believes in one of the most wackiest, craziest fucking religions of all times, which would be Christianity. I don't really see what's so crazy about it. Our, as um, the Bible says, our faith is built on the prophets and the apostles with Christ being the cornerstone in his teachings. Don't really see what's too crazy about that. Um, our faith teaches that God created the universe. You want to believe that the universe came out of nothing, and all we are is a bunch of animals. Okay, so go ahead. You want to say you're an animal? Like, here's the funny thing. All about debating you, and even if I were to prove you, even if you were to prove me wrong on every point I made, at the end of the day, all you're trying to do is get me to believe that I'm an animal. Okay, you want to teach you're an animal? Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. You know what, James? I'd like to share with you some things about what I've learned about Muslims. Here you do all these shit videos where you attack and you try to make Muslims up look stupid and all that. And personally... Is it smart to believe in a fly that Muhammad rode on a flying donkey? Is it smart to believe that um, a man can have four wives... And a woman can't have four husbands. And that when you go and you fight for Allah and, and kill for him, that uh, you'll get slave boys as a reward. And that women, on top of your four wives, that God will create women, just all that they know about is sex. And that will be a reward for you? Is that something smart? Um, is it smart that, that they follow a God who, every time they... You know, let's say I'm playing chess with you, and 124,000 times I lose playing chess against you, yet one time I win, does that make me a good chess player? Every time this God sent a prophet or a messenger, every single time that message got destroyed and beaten by Satan, didn't he know that would happen? Does this God know the future at all? Didn't he know by making Jesus appear as if though he was crucified on the cross, as the Quran says, that it would be he himself that caused Christianity to arise? Was that a smart move? Is it smart that um, God used a prophet that couldn't read or write? Uh, and he was just a guy who attacked caravans and murdered people and killed over 600 Jews in one day? And... Uh, wiped out pagans from uh, Mecca and Medina? Is, it, is that smart? Is it smart to bow down to a rock five times a day and re just recite one chapter of the Quran? Like, that that's their prayer. Imagine if I sent you a letter, Brett, and every day, five times a day, you call me up and you read that letter I wrote to you back to me. Is that is that a prayer even? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't Well, here's the thing. People, sh you said they go into Muslim room rooms and debate. Exactly. Because they have, they use their admin power in those rooms that they'll only keep the topic on the Bible. They'll never talk about the Quran or Muhammad. Have you ever heard a good answer as to why Muhammad married Aisha at the age of six and molested her from six to nine and then consummated the marriage at nine as their own books say? Muslim rooms I've been in where I see Christians come in and try to debate them and Muslims no nope. yeah in their room okay 
But is it fair in the room? Have you ever been in the room and seen a fair debate? Well, their Bible, as well as the Quran. I remember this one time, Venom Fang actually grew some balls just for a little while, and he actually went into pow talk and debated Muslims over the Trinity and some other material. Right, right. They got to debate them on the Bible. They will never dare to debate Christians on the Quran. That's the point I'm making. And for those out there who might be interested, I could, if you wanted me to, to upload that old video where you actually get to hear Venom Fang get his ass kicked. What's funny about it, ladies and gentlemen, is that I actually was invited to the Pal Talk thing by Muslims to be able to watch the showdown happen. You hear that? Muslims actually invited atheists to be able to hear the duel of the century between the highest rated Christian of all time on YouTube. They were that courageous and that brave that they knew that they were going to stop a fucking mud hole in his ass and walk him dry. So that cracks me up. Okay, now I want you to ask them if any Muslim would dare to have Christian Prince go into the room and debate. See, okay, who is Venom Fang X anyways? What a big deal if he had a lot of subscribers. He's just a kid. And so, yeah, so so you're having a 20-year-old kid debating 30-plus-year-old Muslim scholars, and they beat him. And? Is that even a, a, a fair or fit debate? They would not even dare to allow Christian Prince to debate them. And I got to sit in there. And I was also allowed, after the debate between Muslims and Christians, to ask Christians as well as Muslims questions. I asked Muslims about their Quran, and they were more than willing to answer stuff. I answered Venom Fang, and Venom Fang sat there and went into this whole spiel about... Okay, but you forgot that there's a, a thing in Islam where it's okay to lie if you're going to promote the religion. Um, I think it's called Takia. And so, you, yeah, they, they can just lie about things that it says. But they, what they will not do is go into the scholarly interpretation. And that's what matters. According to chapter 3 and verse 7 of the Quran, the only people who have the authority to explain it is Allah and the scholars. And when it comes down to a Muslim, whether deciding what to do, um, in the Middle East, they're going to go by what the scholars say, not by what a bunch of kids in Pal Talk have to say. How it's okay for God to kill infants and children and babies and everything else. Very, very. First of all, God doesn't kill anybody. He has given us life and he's under no moral obligation to prolong it. But Muslims also believe in the story of Noah and the flood. So isn't it funny how you see their double standards? Crazy. So, James, that's one of the weird things I find about Christians. They don't seem to know their own Bible. They don't seem to have any real understanding. Well, every point you have made so far against the Bible on every video I've watched, I've refuted you and put up a response video. And you have not yet made one response video since your new account you made one before which i responded to that as well um refuting me and sh proving me wrong so until you do that you have no case the ending of what they believe in the only reason why they hold on to the belief system is just basically out of fear well that's funny that you would mention that about christianity because who's in it over fear the Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. And we have that perfect love with the Creator through Christ. According to the Quran and Sharia law, if you leave Islam, the penalty is death. So when the case is actually that they are in it over fear, oh, it's not fear for you. And the ones who are in it because they aren't fearful, because they love God, oh, well... No, those are the ones that fear. You see how backwards and twisted things are upside down when it comes to to this? And 
just to show you that y you are attacking Christianity because there is no fear against the Christians, I challenge you to make your next 10 videos about Islam. And I don't want you to sugarcoat it as you do um, when talking about this. But the same way that you judge Christianity, I want you to judge Islam. Otherwise, if not, why? And I'm out of time, so um, I think I've said enough, really. He doesn't say all that much in this video, just talking about a few debates. When I have tons of debates on my um, uh, account about between Muslims and Christians and showing that in your room, they will not answer and will not dare to answer when you know and can point out their lies.